This has been quite a week for Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson. First, he sits in a congressional hearing and wonders aloud if a member is asking him about Oreo cookies when she was asking him about an industry term that a housing secretary should know, REOs. Then, in that same hearing, he was asked about the possibility of a housing rules change impacting transgender people. Listen to this. And can you assure this committee that you will not make any, that, that HUD does not have any current or future plans to eliminate the equal access rule during uh, rule, in rulemaking? I'm, I'm not going to say uh, what we will do in the future about anything. We don't know what we're going to do in the future. Are you currently anticipating doing that? I'm not currently anticipating uh, changing the rule. But the very next day, Carson's department proposed a rule that would allow federally funded shelters to turn away transgender people based on religious grounds. That member of Congress is Democrat Jennifer Wexton. She is now calling on Carson to resign. As she says, he lied basically straight to her face. She's saying that he has, quote, proven himself to be deceitful and inept as HUD secretary. Congresswoman Wexton joins me now. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. First, why was this an important question? For well, you to pose to um, Carson, did you have a, did you have a, a clue or an inkling that changes were in the works there? So I suspected, we suspected that he might be making changes to this rule. The equal access rule protects LGBT community in in HUD housing, and uh, and I suspected, given the administration's hostility to the LGBTQ com community, that there could be some changes taking place, and that's why I asked the question. And he lied to my face and said that they did not anticipate changing the rule. The very next day, HUD announced a rulemaking that would basically gut the transgender protections in that rule. After, after the hearing, I think it also was the next day, he called you to clarify. He says that he didn't fully understand your question. So now do you think, do you think he intentionally lied to you or do you think he didn't understand the question or I guess there's a third, he doesn't know the policies of his own agency? It's pretty clear that he intentionally lied to me. Uh, you know, the, the question was clear. You showed the clip. He volunteered that he had, did not anticipate making changes to the rule and then went and did it the very next day. And let me tell you why this matters. We know that nearly one third of the transgender community will suffer from ho homelessness during their, li during their lifetimes. And we also know that before the rule was, uh, was promulgated, uh, one in five shelters turned transgender people away. So this is going to this is going to really impact the community and could even cost people their lives. You're proposing uh, you're proposing legislation in order to correct this because you're calling on him to resign. There's clearly no sign that that's going to happen. What's, right. How far you, how far do you take this fight? Well, you know, I've proposed legislation to ensure equal access, and uh, I anticipate that will be moving in the coming weeks. But you know, we've got to do what we can as as Congress to stop these abuses by the executive branch. I also want to ask you about this feud between the president and the House Speaker. It's really flared up over the last two days, and it's all wrapped up in the question of impeachment. There are Democrats in your caucus who say that the time is now at least to begin impeachment proceedings. The Speaker yesterday, though, made very clear that House Democrats are not on that path right now. Where are you on this, Congresswoman? Well, I believe that all options are on the table, and I don't want to take any uh, options a away, but I'm not there for impeachment just yet. You know, we've heard from the committee chairs about the investigative uh, processes that they're engaged in, and I'm confident that they're doing a great job of looking into all the facts. And we've had two court cases in the past week that have backed up exactly what they're doing. Uh, and so the, that information is going to need to be turned over, and I think we'll know a lot more as soon as we see all that information that the president has been trying very, very hard, hard to hide. And you are in a unique position. I mean, you are, you are one of the Democrats who helped win back the Democratic majority in the House by turning a red district blue. How does, how does that fact factor into your decision? What are you hearing from constituents? Well, constituents want us to hold the president accountable, but they also want us to d deliver on the promises that we made to get here. And that's what we've been doing as a caucus. You know, uh, we have passed over 100 bills out of the House of Representatives. We've done things for uh, universal background checks for firearms purchases, H.R. Uh, 1, the Good Government Act. Um, you know, we have done a lot of really important legislation. We're working to bring down health care costs and prescription drug prices. And we're, you know, we're eager to work on on infrastructure with the president, but he doesn't seem to want to do anything uh, other than rant. 
Well, that's on a pause right now, at the very least. I mean, if the president is involved in a cover-up, as Nancy Pelosi said, it, which would be, you know, if he's involved then in impeachable offenses, I do wonder why not move toward impeachment if the job is oversight and holding the president accountable. Well, you know, we have other work that we need to do, and we we still haven't received all the information that we need to have. You know, we still haven't seen the full and redacted, unredacted Mueller report. We mm -hmm. haven't heard from um, from Robert Mueller. We haven't heard from Don McGahn. You know, Are you okay a lot if he doesn't testify publicly, Mueller? Well, I don't. I don't know that he needs to testify publicly. Okay. Um, you know, that's a decision that, that he will be able to make with, uh, with the, the House Judiciary Chair mm -hmm. and, and all of those parties. But, you know, we, we do need to hear from him, as well as Don McGahn and other 